brass knuckles and silver for a lady on her boyfriend's helmet. They had the lettering and afterwards she decided she wanted a brick wall behind it so it looks like the fist is smashing through the brick wall. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you how to quickly make a little brick wall. And what we're going to use for a stencil for this is called pennant felt or pellon. Uh, if you go to a fabric store it's called Pellon Brand Fusible Interfacing White. It's uh, mostly used in uh, making uh, stencils for airbrush t-shirts, but you can use it to make a stencil for anything like I did here. So what I did was I just cut the bricks out, sprayed gray through there, which is what she wanted. She wanted a gray, she wanted gray bricks, and I just used this to loosely get my bricks in place with the gray around the fist. To cut, to cut the bricks out, I just used a hobby knife, number 11 blade. I just drew the bricks on, right on the pallet or pennant felt, and then cut them out with a number 11 blade. I haven't done the other side yet, so I'll take you through how I airbrush the other side real quickly. Um, this is not fine art by any means. This is just t-shirt art on a helmet really. It's something simple, quick, and fast. Uh, now she has her brick wall with fish smashing through it and she'll be a happy camper. So let me turn the helmet around and get ready and then I'll show you how I airbrush this real quickly. Okay, I have my little brick stencil stuck up there with just masking tape. I have gray in my airbrush. I'm just going to hold it down. Be careful not to get over spray in his fist. She wanted the ground in these bricks black, which works out perfectly for us. There's our first row. We'll turn it around so this brick ends. Sort of jagged. Same with this bottom one. As you can see, our brick wall is coming together nice. Now to just line it up so that the bricks are offset. Be careful you're not going to cover your lettering. There's a million ways you can do this. This is just one, one way of doing it. I figured I'd show you. Since she wanted the grout black, it made it real easy for us. Since the base of the helmet is black anyways. Now we'll just go back in, add a little more gray. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Now we'll go back in with our black and fix the grout. Make the jagged like they've been broken off. It's not easy to do at this angle and try and keep it on the camera. We'll do the best we can. Go all the way around and we'll break these bricks off. So it makes it look like the fist came through. Go back over the grout. Let me show you real quick how to add some texture to the bricks. Just turn your air pressure way, way down on your airbrush until it spits paint. And as you can see, it adds pretty nice texture to our bricks. Just turn it around until you get like a stippling effect. That's looking pretty good. Let me go through and clean this up and I'll be back.
Rubbed those all the way around. We added a few cracks. We added some texture by turning the air pressure down on our airbrush so it just uh, made a stippling effect. Now if, the, if the person wanted a uh, different color grout, say they wanted red grout, you would have painted the background red, then taking your brick stencil, done your bricks, pulled this off, the grout would have been red or blue or whatever color you want. So that's my quick brick wall, quick uh, stippling effect, and the use of Pellin or pennant felt. Pennant felt you can buy just about any heart, um, fabric store. It's called uh, Pellin brand fusible interface. Or, or online you can go to the feltpeople.com. Hope you got something out of this short little video. You can be airbrushing brick walls like crazy now.